In today's video, I'm going to break down my favorite pass in Madden 21 to this point. And it's even better than some of the air raid concepts that I was working with. Um, it's a little bit more um, designed to help you beat blitzes and things like that. But I think you're going to really like it. I think it's going to be helpful. And I think you're going to benefit from a little bit more of a detailed explanation as to why this play is so powerful and what you can use it for in your offense. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking, taking the time to watch today's video. If you're new to the channel, what I do here every single day is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks videos. We break down offensive tips, defensive tips, mutt tips, um, user tips, all of that kind of stuff. So if that is something that you're interested in, if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Again, we upload new videos every day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And we also go live every single night and answer your questions live on our stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, guys, so I have got to share this with you. This is my favorite. I, I, I ran this play every single play last night uh, in a game, and I found everything that you can do to stop it and everything that you can do that does not stop it whatsoever. So far tight slot curls. I can't stress to you how important this is. Like, I, this is such a good play. Um, it's my favorite play to run against any of the popular defenses um, because of what it can do for you. Okay, so first and foremost, what I want to do is I want to break down a couple of different things about this play. First and foremost, it's really, really good off of the run. So when you've been running your fullback dive over and over again, then the defense is going to basically overcommit to stopping the fullback dive. We showed that earlier, right? We showed that this motion over for, from Godwin makes this fullback dive really difficult to stop. So now they're going to be over committing to doing that. They might be running some cover two Mabel, some blitzes, some different things like that. So if the, the setup for this play is relatively versatile, you can do a lot of different things. But what we're going to show you today is basically I want to put Mike Evans on a post route, Ronald Jones on a wheel route. I want to re-block the, the fullback. You always want to re-block him. And then I want to smart route my tight end. Okay, you see that I can smart route him and his route's going to go a little bit deeper, a little bit crisper of a cut at a later date. Okay, and then all we're going to do is we're going to motion Godwin over. So if they're in, if they are in cover four or cover three or cover three invert, any of those three coverages, this is going to be an absolute beast of a snap throw. We'll show you how to handle cover two and how to handle man coverage in just a second. But I want to first show you this. So this is like press coverage, and you're just going to let it get out there. And as you can see, you're going to catch it, and it's going to be typically typically what I do or typically what I get when I run this is I will get about, um, I will typically, and that's with the hard flat, by the way, I put a hard flat on the linebacker. I will typically get between five to 10 yards. And sometimes I'll actually break this thing open. So it's hard outside pass lead. And what you want to do with it is you want to swerve your receiver to the outside and then up to basically get that little rack catch. So I'll show you that. Uh, and we won't we, we might not get it here, but in game you'll you'll have a chance to, to really do a good job of getting this. So again, out there, there it is. There you see how he gets that rack, see how he gets that little swerve catch up the field. Now if that's that's an outside third. So an outside third is going to do a little bit better of a job. What I want you to see though is what if they do something like this? This is very popular, right? Uh, they're gonna do like a cover two invert, cover three invert type of thing on that side of the field. Very, very popular. I see this a ton, right? So let's, let's say they do something like that. If they do an inverted coverage, you see here that this could potentially be a one-play touchdown. If you rack catch it, if you get a good rack animation and they're running cover three invert on you, I'm telling you right now that this will be a one-play touchdown. 100% guaranteed. And here's how I know it because I've, I've done it. Literally, I've scored so many one-play touchdowns on this. It's unreal. So again, you're motioning him out. You're going to snap him right about here. You see, oh, he's inside. Okay, outside swerve. There it is right there. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You get that little outside swerve animation, you are going to torch inverted coverages. And what is the number one coverage that you will see across any level of Madden right now? You're going to see Mabel coverage, 100% guaranteed, and they're, they're basically going to say take your underneath. That's the coverage everybody's running. And so now we have a snap throw, so you don't have to worry about pressure. It's all about what that outside corner on the right is on. If that outside corner takes one step to the inside, I throw that instantly, and as you can see right there, it's out. 
Now, if the corner, sometimes what will happen is the corner will be in a press alignment, but he'll be on an outside third. This gives us a little bit of trouble, um, but there's some ways around it. And it does depend a little bit on the talent of the corner. If you're playing a really, really good corner versus if you're not, all of those things kind of factor in. But as far as this goes, you should still be able to get this out there. You're just going to need to wait just a little bit longer. So just wait just a little bit, get it out there. And there I didn't wait quite as quite long enough. When you throw this ball, um, you want to make sure that you're throwing this with a hard outside pass lead. And I would not recommend running this play unless you have pass lead elite or gunslinger. Now, because Brady doesn't have gunslinger, it's actually a little bit better with someone that does have gunslinger. Like if I had Rodgers, um, it would be a little bit better. But again, you're just going to get him out here, wait just a second, and that's more of what we're looking at right there. Now, when I when I face like an outside third or an outside quarter, if I'm facing like cover four, cover three, if the corner basically, if the corner takes a step to the outside, then I know that I need to make sure that when I catch this ball, I click possession catch. I don't want to be rack catching that. So again, I get him out here, and I just secure catch. Just secure catch. And you almost, um, honestly, with your pass lead, one of the things that you can do to help it a little bit, uh, this will help with like throwing interceptions and things like that, if you're worried about it. Pass lead this thing, not, you can try high pointing it. I've actually tried high pointing it. High pointing it does work. But pass lead like down and away, like, like down and away. So like back shoulder almost, like literally almost back shoulder. If you pass lead it back shoulder, you'll never throw a pick on it against a cover three. Um, you might get like that little animation right there. I'll be honest, I don't get a lot of coverage. I don't get a lot of this coverage. Um, but I get like I get a lot of that guy on the left in a deep half, which just play kills it. But when they're in a deep third, okay, I do want to show this. If they're in a deep third, just throw it outside and then just secure catch. Just secure catch it. And you're fine. You now have a read. So as far as the pass lead on this, I'm probably pass leading that at about four o'clock. If my left joystick was a clock. That's kind of where I'm pass leading this ball at, so so that you're aware. So that's kind of what I'm what I'm doing uh, as far as you know where to hold the joystick. But you really want to get it out there. You really you know you it's a quick snap and throw right there. You don't want uh, a touch pass. If you get a touch pass, that's not good. Um, so you really want to make sure that it's like a bullet pass. And we'll show this to you again. Cover like I said this this coverage to me. Uh, whoops, I motioned over the wrong guy. I see very, very little of this coverage. We're going to get into man coverage here in just a second. The cool part, I think the way it, what it does to man coverage, I think it's hilarious. Um, it almost like mirrors like a back shoulder type of throw. But again, back shoulder right there. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for right there. Hard outside pass lead. I click on and I make the play. So now um, let's cover cover two. So cover two is a bit, it's cover two is the defense they're going to go to to try to stop this. Now, we actually want them to call cover two because we're going to have other plays that will give us a one-play touchdown against cover two. But if you want to complete this against cover two, basically what you're going to do, you see that right there, you're just going to lowball it. And, of course, I didn't get a great animation. You have to test this out a little bit. Um, but basically, if the corner – there's two types of cover two that you're going to get. The first type of cover two is you're going to get the corner where the corner is going to back off um, – like the, like the corner is going to be like he did right there. Like he's in a cloud flat. He's going to back off at the snap or you're going to get a hard flat or s something like that. Or maybe they're doing like a zone drop where he's going to like sit underneath. So you throw them both differently. So I got to go over both of them here really quickly. But you see here, if they back off inside pass lead. Okay. That's different, right? Different from what we were doing. We're inside pass leading and low balling that if they run that defense. Okay, so if they run cloud flats and you notice that the linebacker on the right side is in a hook, hook curl, right? So you're watching here. If the linebacker, so I notice, okay, he's backed off. Is the linebacker in that grass? Nope, I can throw it. And there I made a, a bad pass lead. I forgot to, I, you've got to pass lead it inside. And then when you pass lead it inside, one of the things you have to do is you have to click on. Now, if they're running a lot of cover two on you, I honestly would recommend, um, going to the flats play because the flats play gives us one play touchdowns against cover two. And we cover that in the text membership. So if you want to get the full scheme, just shoot me a text. But again, right there, that's what we're looking at right there. Okay. So that's cover two cloud. What about cover two hard flat? Cover two hard flat is kind of the same thing. 
um, it's kind of honestly the same thing. Basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see that. Oh no, he. You're gonna look out. Oh no, he's there. Okay, pass it inside. Click on, and you want to click on the receiver and really cut that ball off because what you don't want to have happen is you don't want that receiver to drift into the zone. That's kind of the thing that you got to watch out for. But again, if they're playing hard flat, it really doesn't stop it. The there's one additional adjustment they're gonna have to make. And we'll show you that in just a second. But again, you see that, and you're just clicking on, and you're going to cut it off. So I'm literally clicking on the receiver. I'm holding the left joystick to the left, and I'm holding secure catch uh, after I throw it. Okay, so the next thing that they're going to try to do is they're going to do something like this. This is a double flat. Now, this is the best defense against this play. So they're going to basically put their linebacker on the, on the right side of the screen. They're going to put him in a hard flat, and then their corner is going to be in a cloud flat. So if you see something like this, you see that it's kind of bagged. There's nothing really there. But now what you've got is you've got your post route in behind it. So what, what's happened is that route has pulled two defenders and and um, and you now have an opening for your for your post route. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on trying to show you how to beat cover two from this um, with that hard flat because, to be honest with you, there is some things you can do. Um, what you could do, you could try this, like high pointing it and – you see there the other thing that you'll have which it, you, you might not realize it but when they do that right there when they pull this this guy into a hard flat and they this this combination of coverage this is the only combination of coverage they can really run on this side so you're going to be good with this either way but basically what that's going to mean is typically their user is going to be kind of right in here and he might be guarding like the post route or the running back route or something like that that's where this tight end route really really comes in handy because what can happen, what's going to happen is you're going to read this to the right or say, oh, no, there's a bunch of people in that grass area. And, of course, I throw a pick. Um, but basically, you're going to look back to your tight end. And almost almost without fail, that tight end will be coming wide open. Um, I mean, it's, it's almost like clockwork, especially if they're trying to stop this out of a cover two shell. Because uh, right there, th this guy's vert hook, he should not have followed me uh, on this. But if he does follow, it's... You know, it is what it is. Um, but again, he shouldn't follow. Uh, whoops, my I'm in the wrong play. Um, he shouldn't follow. So that's why you want a smart route Gronk because he's going to go a little bit deeper. He's going to give himself a little bit more space. Honestly, what I like to do, I actually really like to high point that route too. But basically, see there, nothing there. And you can high point it. If you don't trust your high point, then just throw a bullet pass. What I like to do is bullet pass, bullet pass it to the right. Okay, so so literally, here's your setup. Now he should not follow over. Even if he does, though, he's in a vertical hook. You'll see here he's going to eventually. He's if he matches him, you can hit your post route. Most of the time, that that guy won't. I'm telling you, just from personal experience running this for the last week, um, that guy's not going to do that. Like most of the time, he's going to stay right here. Now, if he does go over, he's gonna pro they're going to probably make him stay on that side because they don't really want him to go over because they're setting this coverage adjustments up supposedly like that. So that's that's more of what you're going to see. And what you're going to see is this ba this area, there's so much grass to throw that ball right there. Okay? So that's cover two. Now, uh, what you're probably thinking is, well, just man him up. Man him up is going to stop it. And I'll tell you what. I found this last night, and I thought this was so huge. This was a big breakthrough with this play. This play kills man coverage. And it's going to basically create a back shoulder throw. But all you're going to do is you're going to wait just a split second longer. So instead of throwing at the snap, you're going to wait for him to kind of run his route a little bit. But this animation right here that you just saw is super, super, super consistent. Like the most con – it's so consistent. I was like 23 of 25 with this. And the guy ran man on all, on uh, all night. What I'm doing, I'm not low pointing it. That You don't want to low ball it. With this route, sometimes it's just kind of glitchy if you, if you try to low point it. It's just kind of glitchy. So what I would recommend is right at about here. So he's running his route right about here, right when the corner kind of turns around. Throw it hard to the outside, just like we were. And you're going to click on and possession catch it. Now, you don't even have to click on to the receiver. It actually probably works against you if you click on to the receiver against man-to-man, -man, at least in my opinion. What you want to do is you just want to, again, he's getting out here. Wait and throw all day. It's just like boom, 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 all day. Man coverage doesn't stop it. Shade coverage doesn't stop it. 
There's no man coverage in the game that will stop this play. Um, I've tested all of them. And the other thing is if they, for some magical reason, are able to stop. But you want to throw this. You want to kind of anticipate the throw. Anticipate the throw. And you'll see right there, when that kind of thing happens, and that will happen. That happens to me sometimes too. Um, when that kind of animation happens, it's because you threw the ball just a split second too early. You know, so that's how you can, you just want to practice your timing. But basically, you see man coverage, wait and throw all day. And that was shaded coverage outside and underneath. Okay? There's no coverage that's going to stop it. Literally none. Literally none. Which is amazing. So then what's going to happen is they're going to go out there and try to use her that, right? So they're going to go out there and they're going to try to use her this curl route. Well, what they forget is you got your post route backside. So if they vacate that, you can throw the post route. And if you don't have Hot Route Master, which some of you don't have Hot Route Master, I recommend Hot Route Master for this scheme. But if you don't have it, you can still run a lot of the principles. Just put Evans on a slant. That's literally it. So I look there, he goes, okay, I pop my slant right there. So this play is really, really good. Um, it does a great job. Um, it, it actually does a really good job in the red zone. I'll show you really quickly. Because a lot of people will run like cover four with hard flats in the red zone. This is what I've experienced. Like they'll run like cover four hard flat or they'll run like cover three or something, right? So if they do that on this, you'll see everything gets compressed. But typically what happens in the red zone is you can either hit this route to Godwin or you can hit this route to uh, Mike Evans. But you'll see right here, just let him sit. And you see, I know I know it doesn't look open, and I know I got deflected. Um, I might have to do another video on the red zone thing just so I can test out some of the coverages. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to – I think you can kind of high point this thing. So, again, he gets over here, right there, high point. And you see that little back shoulder catch right there? That's money. He's all, he's gonna cons he will consistently get that animation because it, what you're doing is you're creating a back shoulder type of throw. That's what you're doing by motioning this thing across. So this is my favorite play in the game, uh, at least right now. I think it's the, one of the best plays. It's really hard to stop, and it's under center. So you can see that see that right there. Like the corner was in position to play it, and he still didn't play it. So that's that's there's just a lot of potential this play. Uh, I wanted to shoot this to you. If you want to get, I've got more setups on it in the in the in the uh, far tight slot guide that show you some other things to do and some things to do off of it once they start over pursuing. But this is right now like probably would say you know my favorite play. That's why you want to high point it. If you don't high point it, that'll happen. But if you do high point it, it's going to be a touchdown. Um, so. Anyways, just wanted to share that with you. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about this, um, just shoot me a text message. My number is in the top left-hand corner of the screen. If you want to get the full far tight scheme, um, you can also just shoot me a text message as well. See with the low ball, you, you have to kind of high point it. Um, but when you high point it, you get that little back shoulder catch, which is really, really good because it gets over the top of zones and stuff. But anyways, if you want to get the full, um, if you want to get the full playbook, uh, or not the full playbook, I'm sorry, the full guide out of this formation. Just shoot me a text message. Um, I think this is one of the best plays in the entire game. Um, the next, you, and again, you don't have to run this in the red zone. I'm just kind of messing around with it right now. But if you, you know, like if you face something like, let's say you face that cover two problem in the red zone, right? Will they do that? Okay. Um, let's do that. All right, so we do that right there. Let me just show you. Right there, a little pop pass right there to the tight end. A little pop pass. And and I found that typically like what they're gonna do most of the time is you see something like this, okay? And basically you're gonna slant instead of um, instead of put him on a on a uh, post route at this point. A little quick pop pass. Okay, not there. Okay, I got that one in the back of the end zone. So you got three different quick throws um, in the red zone. But anyways, guys, that's it. That's the that's the the play. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you watched this all the way through. Uh, what do you think of the play? Um, it's a lot of fun to run, and uh, this this offense is really really fun. So if you want to get the full offense, shoot me a text message. If you have any Madden questions, you can always text me as well. Uh, we'll be streaming at ten o'clock tonight. Thanks for watching today's video, and we'll see you.